Who wants that, right? It's no bueno. It's not even, not even a little bit bueno. It's complete lack of bueno. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I did a bunch of stuff this morning, moving some things around and we had so much rain earlier in the season that we've got a lot of overgrowth in some areas. So I decided today was the day, since I've got the two goats and the lamb, to move them over to some area where they could clear out some of it for me. So I'll show you what I did. It's been kind of a crazy day. We, uh, I've got my quail incubator going and my next batch is starting to hatch, so I was getting their brooder ready. I've got my Cornish coming in this next week, probably about midweek, I, I imagine they'll be here. Um, so that's good. I've got their brooder all set up, ready to go. Windy, it's windy today. It's actually not as windy as it was. It was very, very windy earlier. Over here, if I can stand so you guys can see. It's, I'm not good with the selfie stick, guys. I know, my apologies. I swept up uh, a lot of the bark and stuff over here and kind of was straightening up some things. We have certain areas kind of roped off so that the birds and the goats and stuff can't get back there. Um, but this area over here, and we've got all kinds of stuff hatching. I've got another, another bird that I've got sitting on a clutch that hatched and I'm super excited because my Sebastopol geese that I adore they are kind of a rare heritage breed they're really kind of hard to find and they uh, started laying eggs this week so I threw them in the incubator so I'm hand turning them in the incubator and I'll show you guys later they're giant but they basically are the entire size of my hand they're huge and I got two of them so far, nothing yet today, but I, I haven't checked now that it's later in the day, I haven't gone over where they were laying and checked. But again, I'm not 100% sure. I suspect that I have one male, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm really just going off of his behavior. And his behavior says male, with the exception of the fact that I haven't seen him completing his mission. So I'm hope, hoping, hoping, hoping that uh, these eggs are gonna be fertile, but we don't know. So this little area right here, guys, I'm gonna flip this around so you guys can see. So this little area back here is actually behind the pool and we've used this for turkeys. Uh, I've used this for uh, when I ended up kind of inundated with roosters. I stuck all my extra roosters back here until I could process. Um, it's right up against the creek. And as you can see, uh, we did get a lot of rain and some gentle, I wouldn't call it flooding, but we definitely got high plain water this last season. And a lot of this grew up. So it needs to be cleared out a little bit, mowed down a little bit. And what's better to do that than the geese, of course, love it as well. And the lamb and the goats. So the winds that we've had over the last few months, we've had some crazy 90 mile an hour winds a few times. We've gone without power for a few days. I mean, nothing like what they've gone through in texas of course but we had you know our own wind issues over here and basically what happened is it ripped part of this structure apart uh, because obviously we had this av aviary netting over it uh, when we had the turkeys and things like that back here to keep the predators out and the birds from flying out uh turkeys more than the chickens but i can totally put the geese back here because they don't fly um and I obviously wouldn't leave them back here for more than, you know, an hour or two at a time when I'm out here doing something because they would be a little bit susceptible to potentially a predator getting them back here and they'd be a little bit cornered. Um, but we had the lamb and the goats back here earlier and they actually cleared some of this already. Every day, throw them back here in this pen together for a little while, let them kind of clear some of this out and some of the, the wild weeds that have sprung up. Uh, you know, to kind of get that cleared out. Let's see if I can show you guys a little bit. So this creek bed that runs behind us, uh, we have a cow pasture next to us, and Justin's cows really keep that all really mowed down, obviously. But then you can see exactly where the fence line is, even when you can't see the fence, because from there forward, it's completely uh, overgrown. So I'm gonna see if I can try to show you guys that. If you see, like, right there, this is dry right now, obviously, the creek. Um, it finally dried up this last week uh, from the last rain. But as you can see, there's 
that little gully there, that's where the water runs through here. And then you can see right where it turns, oh, there's a bunny. And you can see right where it, where it turns down here, it gets very, very uh, grassy again on this side of the creek. Basically on this side, uh, you know, is technically part of the Santa Maria Creek and not, you know, our property. Um, but it would be very cool if we could like throw a hog back there, uh, you know, or throw something back there that wasn't gonna be just bait for some big predator like coyotes or something that they could help kind of clear that out. All right. Yeah, so she's doing really well. She's settling right in. Yep. And uh, Caroline's still kind of being a brat to her. So Neil could kind of care less. Um, <laughs> It does feel like spring today. It's actually starting to get a little bit chilly now and I know that the bad weather is coming this week, but it is really beautiful out today. I actually spent some time outside doing some chores and hanging out with the animals and I spent some time by the pool and, but it only lasts for like an hour before it starts to get really chilly again and it's already with, between the wind and the chill in the air, it's starting to get starting to get there again. I just love this time of year because there's so much happening, so much hatching. You know, all the babies are being born and I just, I love, you know, little surprise clutches of eggs of different babies and getting these quail kind of squared away. Um, caught a few squirrels back there and I'm trying to make sure that I get, you know, that as predator proofed as possible so that nobody's stealing eggs or messing with the quail at all whatever predator you know brood them get them through all that get them outside and then have something gobble them up because who wants that right it's no bueno it's not even not even a little bit bueno it's complete lack of bueno so this week i've got a project coming up and it's not even my project uh, my friend charity who is one of my really good friends that i've known forever she's been on a, in a couple other videos she's uh the gal that i get my jewelry from um her paparazzi uh rodeo queen bling she is she's purchased this old 1960 something model trailer and she's going to use it to go to different events and rodeos and uh, sell her wares and pack it with jewelry and go on the road. She's kind of starting this new adventure in her life and I was like, wow, how cool. Like, let's, let's, let's do this. Like, I'll help you with it. So she got a wild hair to start it uh, a couple weeks ago and then she had a bunch of stuff happen and she wasn't able to kind of, she took a break from, from working on it a little bit. And this week we are going to start working on it again. We've got to get the linoleum out of there. She's already taken out like the, the bathroom and the kitchen stuff because she really just wants to make it like a little indoor boutique um, where she can haul all her stuff. So I'm, I'm really, I think it's gonna be really neat to get that done and, and work on that and kind of, you know, figure out how she wants to, once we get it all cleaned out and squared away, make whatever repairs need to be made on it outside of, you know, gutting it the way we need to gut it and then be able to kind of, you know, decorate it and fix it up the way she wants it for uh, for her business. So I think that's gonna be really neat. And she's very excited about it and I'm excited about it. I'm bummed that it means she'll be leaving and on the road more uh, in the future, but uh, it's nice just having her, you know, kind of down the street from me uh, for the last few years. But, um, you know, we'll, it, We'll still be able to see each other, you know. We have rodeos out here too, and she'll she's got her kids are all out here, so she'll she'll make her way back out to Ramona every now and then, and, and come visit, I'm sure. And you know, we'll we'll be able to see each other and hang out. Just won't be the same as having her down the street. But I'm looking forward to uh, getting into that trailer this next week and just just massacring it with her and getting it really ready for what she wants it to look like and and to serve the purpose and function that she wants it to have. I think it's gonna be amazing. And I can't wait to get started on that. Uh, hopefully the weather will hold out for us next week uh, for the day that we wanna do that and get started on it. So we'll see, fingers crossed. <laughs> so I love it. Lots of projects going on this time of year. Exciting stuff, lots of babies. Got the birds coming this week. Good stuff, good stuff. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and click the bell so you get the notifications.